Okay? Now let me tell you what we're going to do. He's going to minister. Some of you are here and you need prayer tonight. I can tell you right now, you need prayer. And I don't have to say anything else, but you need prayer. So when he gets through ministering, he's going to pray for you. Individually, he's going to pray for you. Now some of you are going to have to leave. This man travels to Ghana. September? September. And he'll go in September. And, and we're going to bless him. This church is going to bless him. And, and, and believe me, what he's doing over there is phenomenal. But it's only the beginning. It's only the beginning for Francis. Because he's put everything. This man and his wife. Would you stand up a minute? This is his wife. They have put everything they have. I just, I just lift you up, Francis. And I, I mean, you're such a great blessing, a great blessing to me. And Amelia, we're so honored to have you in the house tonight. But, but I tell you what, that dream that y'all have there, you will walk, you will walk in it, you will walk in it, and you'll think back, and you'll see all your labor, you'll see all your labor that be right, and you'll see all those men and women's life that gets changed. They, this man ministers in the brush. He is just out. When he hits that place, he never stops. And so y'all just lift him up. But I just want to encourage you. I want to encourage you. If you need a blessing, if you're walking with the Lord and you're, you're not satisfied where you're at, you can, you can read Awakening. You can read this one. So I always want to project him. Yes. Amen. 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 He's my Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. What you have to say is very important. Yeah, I know where he, he picked me from. Amen. And I know what he has taken me through, which I do not understand yes. until things begin to happen. Things begin to fall in their place. Then I knew why he did all that with my life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. But we have to understand that we have been recreated for greatness. David took someone's wife yes. Yes. and manipulated to kill the husband to hide the sin. But you know, you can't hide anything from God. Amen. Is there anyone here who can hide anything from God? No. There is nothing. No. <laughs> there is nothing that we can hide from God. We can go deep into the abyss of the ground and do things, but he's there already before we get there. Amen. Hallelujah. Our interpersonal relationship is very important to God. Amen. Our attitude in our personal and interpersonal relationship is very, very important. Actually, that is what works out our experiential righteousness. If I don't deal with my brother and my sister correctly, I am being unrighteous. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall I say it again? Yes. If I don't deal correctly with my brother or sister, I am being unrighteous. Amen. Experiential. Amen. Because there are many people that dwell on the righteousness that we have in Christ. But look at their lives. If I am a mango, what juice should I produce? I should produce a mango juice. That's right. Amen. So if my species me and I produce orange juice, what is the problem? There must be a problem. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, we have righteousness in Christ. Yes, but our righteousness, you know, God says, put on who you have become in Christ. Amen. We have become righteous and holy and godly in, in, in Christ. Yes. But it says, put it on. What does it mean put it on? Practice what you have become. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <coughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So we have to really find out what the problem is. Is it our pride and arrogance in the Christian life? Is it division and differences in our doctrinal beliefs? Is it our denominational and interpersonal competitiveness? Is this our problem? Hallelujah. Is it our problem? So we have to find out. 
We have to find out. So God is looking up to you and me to do what? To rise up and begin to live Amen. the way he has made us to be. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. There are greater works to be done. And we can't go around living below what we, we are called to live. Amen. We have to rise up to where we have been called to live. Amen. Hallelujah. See, Christ has called us to be great, very great in this life. And we have to be a people who know who we are and to live and do what he has called us to do. We have to find out whether it is because we have grown too big in our shoes and we cannot fit into the doorway that leads to the power of the kingdom. Amen. We have to find out if it is because we find it difficult to be tough and endure hardness as good soldiers of Christ. Amen. See, it is, is it our struggle with truth and lack of understanding of the demand of the kingdom? Is it because we gravitate more towards convenience in our Christian experience? Hallelujah. Is it, is it because of the horns of the enemy? Hallelujah. See, if the problem is with our personal and interpersonal relationship and attitudes and our approach to the kingdom and so on, then we have to deal with it. Hallelujah. Amen. God has given us grace to deal with it. Amen. But if it is from the horns of the enemy, then the horns must be cast down. Amen. Amen. The horns must be cast down. Amen. Because the horns come to diminish our strength, our joy, our praise, and our peace. Amen. And they must be cast down. Hallelujah. Open with me to Zechariah, Zechariah chapter 1 and verse 18. Zechariah 1, 18 to 21. He said, Then I lifted up my eye and looked, and behold, four horns. And I said to the angel who spoke with me, What are these? And he answered me, These are the horns that have scattered Judah. Israel and Jerusalem. And Jehovah showed me four of men. And I said, What are these coming to do? And he spoke, saying, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, so that no man lifted up his head. But these have come to terrify them, to throw down the horns of the nations. Who lifted up their arms over the land of Judah to scatter it? Hallelujah. Amen. I do not know what is going on in your life. <clears throat> Has the horns of the enemy made you internally or externally to bow down? Hallelujah. The craftsmen of God are here to Amen. set you free. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. They they scattered Judah, they scattered Israel, and they scattered Jerusalem. I want you to know that Judah is your praise and joy, your ability to rejoice always. Your Israel is your strength, your endurance, and your resolve to prevail as a king. Hallelujah. Amen. Your Jerusalem is your peace of mind and body. These qualities in both the spiritual and physical are very important for you and me to walk in our greatness. Amen. Amen. So we do not have to allow the horns to cast them out. Amen. Amen. We have to maintain our joy. We have to maintain our praise. And we have to maintain our strength. We have to maintain our peace. Amen. Because we need this. We need this. And we should not allow the horns of the enemy to trouble us any longer. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We have to begin to say to ourselves, I am the child of God. Amen. Hallelujah. We have to say to ourselves and see ourselves as kings and priests of God. Amen. You, you see, you have to see yourself as a special species of God. 
God's creation. Amen. Amen. Because that is what he has made you to be, a special species of all creation Amen. in Christ Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. You are a chosen race, yes. a royal priesthood. Yes. You are a holy nation. Yes. You are God's own possession. Yes. God has you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So he wants his qualities to flow out of you. And never let the horns of the enemy cast you down. Amen. Either internally or externally. Amen. Lift up your head. Lift up your head. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Lift up your head. And let the world know that you are a special species. Amen. 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 God wants us to be good soldiers of the cross of Jesus. He wants you and me to cast down the lying arguments of the enemy. You know, he speaks to our minds. It is said that the battle takes place in our minds. He speaks and lies to our minds. Amen. Amen. We do not have to entertain his arguments. Because why? He has nothing good for you and me. You know, he got into an argument with uh, with Eve, eventually he deceived him, her. He deceived her. When he gets into an argument with you, you know where he's getting to. He wants to deceive you. Amen. So do not entertain his arguments at all. Paul said we should cast it down. Hallelujah. God wants us to owe no one anything but love. Amen. God wants us to have nothing against Anyone. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, if you are a believer and you have anything against anyone, you have not come to revelation of who you are. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have not come to that revelation. A king has nothing against anyone. Hallelujah. Amen. He knows his position. He is not threatened by anyone's position or anything. He knows who he is. Yeah, amen. We have to know who we are and not allow anything to happen in our hearts against anyone. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Now, he wants us to lay hands on the sick and see them recover. Amen. He wants us to fear nothing that happens in this world. You know, he says in John 14 and 27, Peace I live with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give you. Let none trouble your heart. Hallelujah. Amen. And never be afraid. Amen. Is there anything that is causing you to be troubled in your heart or being afraid? Jesus is saying to you and me today, do not be afraid. Amen. Amen. Let nothing trouble your heart. Amen. Walk in your peace. Amen. Get in your peace back. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't let the, the horns of the enemy tear and cast out your peace. Hallelujah. And he says that we should rejoice always. And again, I say rejoice. Oh, yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. You are, he wants you to cast out demons. Yeah. Yes. You might have said in your heart, me? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Why? Well, because you are a believer. Amen. You are a believer. Amen. Yes. And you should rise up to the occasion and let the world know that you are a believer. And that is what Jesus wants you to do, to cast out demons. He wants you to speak in a new language, in a new spiritual language. Hallelujah. I think someone has to start speaking in the language right now. Right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 
coming to do? To terrify and throw down the homes that trouble your life. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are there some homes in your life? Amen. 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 So the first men of God are here, are here today. Amen. Even now, as I speak, they are moving. Amen. In the Amen. Amen. They want to help anyone that needs help. Hallelujah. Amen. So if you are here and you say to yourself, I need help, the craftsmen of God are here. I want you to get out of your seat and come to the front. If you need help from the Lord, help of any kind, physical, spiritual, financial, material, vocational, I want you to get out of your seat and come here to the front. 